This is the final hour of 24 terrible hours of the F Plus podcast. I can't believe this is finally happening. I can't believe that we're here. I can't believe that we're here. Oh my God. <laughs> Boots, Boots, I've known you for a long time. I've loved you for a long time. I've never been more proud of you than I am today. <laughs> You've, I've never had felt more regret than I do today. Oh, uh, you're fine. <laughs> everything, everything happening here is amazing. Uh, I'm so excited to have uh, these people in the room for this final, uh, this final uh, run um, at <laughs> the thing that we're doing. Um, so, uh, based on your voting, uh, we are going to be selecting random things from WikiHow. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is what is the donation total? Uh, the donation total is currently four thousand two hundred and forty four dollars and thirteen cents. So good, Yay! so good, so good. Uh, you guys, you guys voted. You like coming on figurines more than you, <laughs> more than injustice. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> All right, I like, uh, I like them equally. So, uh, so the rules of this, uh, the rules of this game, uh, is that we are going to be, uh, selecting random articles, uh, chosen by the readers themselves and, uh, take it from there. So let's get things started here. And, uh, I think, I think, uh, we should get started with, uh, Mr. Boots Rain Gear and, uh, Boots, what did you just find? Oh, uh, actually, uh, I'll, I'll credit this one. Montreth found this oh. one. Mantra found one, yes. Because, uh, right. you know, <laughs> that's what she does. Right. <laughs> um, so we're on Wiki, WikiHow. Uh, Thanks, Mantra. WikiHow, how to freak people out. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, this like is, exploding your neck. Uh, <laughs> okay, so do you feel bored, hyper, and mischievous all the time? Don't all just the sit there. Use your energy to freak your friends out. It's the Okay, hello. <laughs> it's the perfect cure for <laughs> boredom. All you need to do. Uh, to get started, is a creative mind, a little bravery, and just a hint of insanity. Use common okay. sense with these tricks. Don't do anything that will get you in trouble. Method one, saying weird stuff. Uh, all right, all right. Um, there's, there's, there's a lot to this article, so we're definitely not going to go through all of it. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's um, a lot of ways to freak people out. Yeah. One surefire way to freak people out is to casually say things in public that are bizarre or troubling to the average person. You can experiment okay. with speaking directly to people or purposely allowing them to overhear personal conversations. Below are just a few ideas. Okay, great. What are your ideas? What are your ideas? Uh, These better be super freaky. They be super freaky. Go to a takeout restaurant and ask for your meal to go. Um... Oh, oh, okay. That's, How wow. to trick people into thinking you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Let's get freaky now. Have a troubling conversation on a phone or headset. Be loud enough for nearby people to hear you. Say sketchy things like, keep eating it. I don't care how many pages there are. Or, take a shot. Look, I'm paying you to do this. <laughs> good, good, good. What about, what about bizarre advice? Oh, Would that be a good one? Ask for bizarre advice. For instance, go into a gardening store and ask an assistant... How long do I need to cook potting mix for you? Or, how long will I need the wa to water the asparagus before it sprouts its wings? <laughs> Make random noises. Say nonsense words such as "ee" or mm. <laughs> Those aren't words. <laughs> Oh my god! You could have you could have typed any random gibberish, uh, and you went with e and m. Mm, bop. Uh, method two is be the noisy one, but I know all of us have that covered, so I'll move on to the next one. Uh, uh, method three is pretty fun because I already preloaded it into the uh, stream. <laughs> okay, great. What's uh, what's method number three? Uh, method number three is uh, oh, I figured out how to fix this. <laughs> <laughs> Looking on. <laughs> uh, that's that's actually a screenshot from the anime fan that I'm working on. Can I tell you all about it? Oh, I would love to hear all about it. Maybe in the next hour. <laughs> uh, uh, have a strange appearance. 
first impressions are everything. If you can give really weird one, you'll be able to freak people out without even opening your mouth. See below. Uh, wear stranger themed clothing for no reason. Try dressing like it's Christmas Eve in the middle of June. Okay. Um, okay. Wear clothing that is the wrong size. See if you can disappear inside a giant suit jacket. <laughs> it's the, the David Burns school. Of, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he did freak people out, though. I, I like uh, the random guy buying monkey cheese. On the, <laughs> the <screen there. laughs> um. Uh, oh, I want to hear some great pranks. Uh. Well, yeah. wait. What was the last one in the strange appearance? Is April Fool's Day. Oh. Uh. Wear clothes incorrectly. Try. Wearing... Unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's April Fool's Day. Let's hear some uh, awesome pranks, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh, that's I'm right, in the right. mood for some April Foolin'. <laughs> that snowman is human kin. <laughs> um, uh, this one requires you to be British. Oh, yay. <laughs> oh, I've got well, this well, one covered. Wait, wait, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, John, Hello there. Get the th third prank name. <laughs> can, you, can you give us the third prank? Oh, do you have this? I don't have. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I've been searching for articles. Oh yeah, no, I just want your your accents here. It's it's right there. Toasty, put it in the chat. It's in the chat. In the chat. Oh, when you're in a lift, stare into your bag and randomly say, "Are you all right? Got enough <laughs> air in there?" Yes, you can eat the clothes. For added effect, make weird replies and strange voices, ventriloquist style. <laughs> you're welcome, Gov. <laughs> Tip top tip Terio. I got a last prank. It's such a good prank. Oh, you're gonna love this prank. Well, that's a prank. Let's prank. Uh, celebrate random holidays like Talk Like a Pirate Day and Hedgehog Awareness Day. Ooh, that's delightfully random. <laughs> Make T-shirts to show your spirit. Shout greetings to people at random. It's such a prank on them because they they they're under the belief that they're you know associated with an insufferable shithead <laughs> but you're tricking them into thinking fooled you <laughs> uh any, all right uh jimmy franks jimmy franks yeah, yeah, jimmy franks yeah. uh -huh. i want to look like a wizard can you help me look like a wizard please <laughs> grow your beard out mm. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely <laughs> Huzzah! How to look like a wizard. Wizards are those who practice magic and are wise in the ways of doing so. If you want to dress up like a wizard for a costume, or just uh, adopt a wizard like style, there are many ways to do so. Long flowing robes and capes can give you the wizard look. You can also wear wizard accessories like a long belt or a hat. If you want, you can style your hair and makeup in a fashion that makes you look old and wise, much like a wizard. Wise, all right. Uh, so you, you say that uh, we should get a long flowing robe, that makes sense. Decorate That's with right. stars, that makes yeah. sense. Uh -huh. Add a cape, that makes sense too. But what's, right. the, what's the next accessory we should have? Well, you should, uh, you, <laughs> you should select shoes for wizards. <laughs> Wizard shoes vary, but they should have a serious look to them. Black or dark colored boots can make for great wizard shoes. You can also try wooden clogs, as this has an archaic look that will remind people of a wizard. It will also remind them of a horse on a cobblestone street as you walk. <laughs> <laughs> um, um okay so then there's part two um uh, -huh. uh wear a long belt got it no yeah, problem just... no nope. yes but i should invest in something what should i invest absolutely in? well you know clothes do make the man but uh <laughs> you, you might confuse people that think you're going for some other look so it's important to invest in a wizard's hat <laughs> <laughs> Wizards are known for wearing long pointed hats. Most What's the ROI on a wizard hat? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Most conventional hat stores and department stores do not sell wizard hats. Bastards! <laughs> luckily, you can easily you luckily you can easily find a hat at a local department store. Which I a just said it, they don't have them, but any doesn't matter. If there isn't a costume shop near you, you can order a hat from a store online. Opt for a somewhat floppy pointed hat with a wide brim. If your hat is not decorated the way you like, glue or stitch on stars. 
great. Uh, I see here in uh, part three um, is the section uh, that you really should be thinking about when you're a wizard. And of course, that's makeup well, tips. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I feel yes, like you're glossing over a very, very important thing. Uh, oh, no. You, you can also consider a mask, but really, you should buy or make a wand because wizards are known to carry wands. Most costume stores t sell fake ones you can buy for a reasonable uh, price. Can uh, I imbue my fake wand with actual magic? Well, uh, he, uh, well, maybe, but uh, <laughs> pipe cleaners can be used to make a wand. <laughs> Simply, you can twist together pipe cleaners until you have a sturdy, thick wand. Then attach a shape made of construction paper to the end of the wand. <laughs> sturdy, sturdy wand, you say. <laughs> It can help to decorate the star or orb in glitter. This will give it a glowing appearance. <laughs> now, what? Were, I'm sorry. What were you saying? What was? I was, I was three. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Um. Uh. We are at four thousand three hundred and forty-five dollars. Oh, Thank you, everybody, so much. Uh, okay, so part three, I saw that you had some makeup tips. Will you share That's right. That's right. Uh, uh, hey, guys, uh, thanks and welcome to my channel. Uh, styling your hair and makeup like a wizard. <laughs> Step one, lighten your brows. Okay. If you, if you want an older look, you could whiten your eyebrows with white makeup paint. This could really give you the old wise wizard look. <laughs> Use Why? a regular glue stick to cover what? your brows in glue. No! <laughs> no! 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 Do it. no! <laughs> old wise people are known for putting glue on their eyebrows. <laughs> then use a makeup brush to dust some light powder over your eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Use dark eyeshadow. Many wizards have a darker, sinister look to them. Mm -hmm. If you want a darker wizard look, oh, these pictures, <laughs> these pictures. Yeah, can we get, can we get like one of these on? <laughs> yeah, can we get step three on the feed? Uh, so I don't can you paste the. the oh, alternately, go to uh, wikiow.com Look like a wizard. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> Uh, look for black, gray, or brown eyeshadow to look like a dark, spooky wizard. Step three, lighten existing facial hair. He looks like he's a, like going for a 1940s hobo look. <laughs> if you have facial hair, you should lighten it. This can make it look like you have a graying beard, giving you the look of a wise old wizard. <laughs> and number four, yep. invest yep. in a wig. Okay. If you want to change your hair for a costume, you can invest in a wig. All right, uh, Victor Laszlo. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy to have you here. And uh, here I am uh, on WikiHow, and I'm having this problem. I, I never anticipated to have this problem while I was visiting WikiHow, but how do I deal with dumb people? <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, how do I deal with dumb people? Yeah. You see them standing in front of you at the grocery store. Maybe you've come across them in your office, school, or worse, even in your extended family. They oh, are no. dumb people. And unfortunately, they are everywhere. But that doesn't mean you have to let them get to you or spend hours being frustrated by their complete inability to be rational human beings and to get it. So how do yeah. you do it? Just okay. follow along. Great, 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 great. <laughs> Part one. Uh, so what was what's my first what's the first step? <laughs> step one is lower your standards. <laughs> I mean solid, solid. <laughs> we're, not, we, we're not into bullshitting people here. <laughs> Oh, part of the reason that you may find yourself constantly frustrated by the stupidity in the world is because you have unrealistic expectations. Different people may have different backgrounds, different opinions, or different priorities in their life. Remind yourself that the average person isn't going to meet your high expectations of how yeah, a person that, should think and act, yada yada. That does, that does make sense. <laughs> Why? That person's thinking about a group and then DNA strands. Yeah. <laughs> They're dumb because of their genes. <laughs> um, in, in part one, in part one, What's number four? <laughs> Step four. Don't judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree. 
<laughs> Apparently, Albert Stop Einstein saying, like, said this. That's not an expression. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody yeah. is a genius, according to Einstein. That's but if you funny. judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. And uh, and uh, what what what's your uh, bullet point in there? In there? Well, think about it. If people can only be smart or dumb in one regard, then there may be people out there who don't think you are very smart. And that can't be true, can it? No, I probably can't. Probably can't. Can. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, I, uh, I, as I think many of you uh, here in this room, uh, spend a lot of time on the Internet. Uh, I don't want to deal with dumb people on the Internet. That seems frustrating. So uh, in part two, uh, uh, point three... Um, what what should I do to be smart? To in order to be smart, yep. you should stay away from pointless debates. Yeah, <laughs> I think I, wonder... should, I think you should go to pointless debates. <laughs> I wonder what the talk section for this wiki page is. <laughs> this is related to avoiding controversial topics. If the dumb person happens to bring up a controversial topic and proceeds to share his particularly dumb opinion on the matter. Resist the urge to jump in and prove that person wrong. Okay. Be polite. Okay. Say something like, you're entitled to your opinion, or how interesting, without <laughs> mentioning that you completely disagree. <laughs> hmm, it's interesting that you think that. I'm very <laughs> curious at how dumb you are. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh boy, uh, lots of lots of like drawings of people talking and then other people looking away. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> all of them. All of the people looking away have the exact same facial expression. <laughs> um, okay, and then uh, the very last thing looks like part three, number five. If you'll uh, take part that one, three, please. number five. Oh, mm -hmm. be grateful for all the smart people in your life. Including you! Yeah! Aww. Dealing with stupid people on a regular basis will make you feel even more grateful for all of the calm, rational, and intelligent people that you know. If you're constantly upset by dumb people, then it's likely because you have a very intelligent group of friends and family members, and that you have high standards when it comes to the intelligence of others. Mm, I am the Uberman, you're right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's oh my god, so helpful. I feel good. I feel good. Thank yeah. you for the compliment, Victor. Oh, yeah. Um, and now, interesting lemon. Now, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now that I have uh, uh dealt with all of the stupid people in my life, I want to create a wolf pack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Frank West, how do I create a wolf pack? <laughs> <laughs> Well, first I should explain, you know, why you'd want to. So you've come to the stage in life where you'd like to have your own wolf pack? This yeah. article will explain how to get fellow wolves for the pack, how to make the pack learn to fight, and how to be an awesome <laughs> dominant or alpha female or male. Huh. Dominant or alpha male and females are the parents. It basically means leader. Basically. No, but, yeah, it means parents, though. <laughs> <laughs> it start a, how to start a wolf pack? Have a family. <laughs> Have a family and make sure they're wolves. And make sure they're wolves and be a wolf. <laughs> well, no, I mean they're not parents, right? Because in that Alpha and Omega movie, the guy wanted to fuck the girl Alpha, right? So that's that's fine, yeah, right? That's they're I mean, not, the scientific not documentary. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yay! Thank you, Kumquasop. <laughs> giving sixty nine dollars and sixty nine cents. Oh, so we <laughs> Classic double sex number. <laughs> So, uh, so step oh, yeah. one, yeah, you make a pack name. Mm, the pack sense. names describe the pack, and sometimes the pack makes the pack stand out. Try to surf the internet for good pack names. <laughs> I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, good pack names. <laughs> Have it go along with what your pack acts like. For example, pretend your pack is feisty. A perfect name for it would be something like Phoenix. A bad name example would be if your pack was graceful and you named the pack Revolution. Oh, that would be embarrassing. Dip shits. <laughs> because because <laughs> phoenixes are feisty. Is that is that? I've decided to rename my pack to the Wii. 
uh, uh, Victor, you were just uh, looking at uh, werewolf pack names. Uh, what are some of the random pack names that you got? <laughs> Night Star Hill Pack. Right. Silverback Stars Pack. Good. Wild Silence Pack. <laughs> Tranquil Star Pack. I got Starry, Starry Omega Sun. Pack. <laughs> I love when Night Star Hell Pack did Rappers of Light. <laughs> the Brown Angel Pack. Off, <laughs> All right, what's 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 uh, what's number two there? Number two is add wolves in your pack. The main wolf will be the alpha. A wolf pack normally has an alpha male and an alpha female. Pick the par people... parents, <laughs> <laughs> mom and dad. Otherwise, <laughs> pick people who have the same interest in wolves and understand. Not people who would simply consider you crazy. Try messaging <laughs> friends about your pack. I'm not crazy. Cool. And I'm a werewolf. werewolf. No, you're not, dumb shit. Anyway, you want to be my wolf pack? <laughs> <laughs> Write down on notebook paper your pack name and alpha. <laughs> See how see how freaking does it have to be does it have to be notebook paper? Can I use grid paper? <laughs> Make sure your glitter gel pens have enough ink. <laughs> and then uh, what should I do after that? Well, you should be an awesome pack leader. Give lots of attention to your pack and play with them. This level raises the level of fun and enjoyment in the packs. <laughs> <laughs> Step four. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know what it was, but I can't. <laughs> Is make up a forest. <laughs> make up a forest? Is that you? Make up a forest. <laughs> whatever you do, don't use a real forest. <laughs> make, <laughs> make up a forest to live in would be great for the members. <laughs> they would have a place to sleep, hunt, eat, play, and more. You could sleep Try. in my made-up forest. <laughs> so wait, do I have to do the? Do I have to become a wizard in that last one before I can do this? <laughs> Try getting pictures of things from forests and say it's your forest. <laughs> Here's the, and here's the image that oh goes with God. that. Google <laughs> image forest thing. Uh, Just forest thing. Uh, when, when looking for river pictures, look for clean water that is fresh looking and appears to be an enjoyable river. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, so, so step five is get some enemies. Getting enemies will teach your pack to work together in battles and wars. Do not message one of your friends saying, I hate you. Let's start a war now. Get a friend with a wolf pack. You know, your other friend who also has a wolf pack. And I mean, I don't associate with non-wolves, so... <laughs> and privately message them and say, here, I got a plan to teach the members of our packs to work together. Let's create a pretend war, and then they will go to battle. This will teach them how to work together as a pact. Against other, not other wolf packs. Look, I'm saying the wolf pack war was an inside job. It was a false. Oh, <laughs> uh, I have a couple uh, questions for you, Frank West. I'd like yeah. to ask you about your uh, your wolf pack. Um, what do I ask my friends if I want them to join my wolf pack? How will I know who has another wolf pack? You could simply say, "Hey, how about we do this wolf pack thing I came up with?" It sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> I got a crazy idea. <laughs> Just insert that like <laughs> off of the conversation. <laughs> if they call you crazy, try someone else. <laughs> Once you get enough people having fun, they will always come back. There usually won't be another wolf pack, but you could split your own or ask someone else who has an interest in wolves and create one. It's up to you. <laughs> um, uh, how does a wolf pack mark its territory? <laughs> Do a lot of howling in the area of your territory, <laughs> and if someone who is not in the pack comes around, growl and show your teeth. <laughs> Uh, Frank West? Yes? Could I have dogs in my wolf pack instead of humans? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> can, can you have a real wolf in your wolf pack? <laughs> no! <laughs> 
open a domesticated dog would be fine. <laughs> hey, Frank West. <laughs> Why would you want a real wolf in your wolf pack? <laughs> Frank West, in, in your article entitled, <laughs> Create a Wolf Pack. How do I make a wolf pack? Read this article again because it outlines the steps necessary to create a wolf pack. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yay! Yeah. Do the, I do what? Oh, okay. Okay, 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 next. Oh. Hey. <laughs> hey, Lemon, before we go, are, are there any warnings that people that are starting a wolf pack should know? Uh, for Frank West would have to answer that question. Hey, Frank West. Are there any warnings? Yeah. Where were... <laughs> warnings. Oh, yes, of course, down there. Well, never leave a wolf pack member out to die. Make <laughs> up medicine to cure things. <laughs> Make up medicine. <laughs> There's a picture of secure things. <laughs> oh god, he has been shot. Quick here, look at this picture of medicine. <laughs> oh. Wars and battles can lead to wolves in your pack getting injured or maybe even killed. <laughs> Super true. We better have plenty of made up medicine. Super true. Okay, uh boom. <laughs> Uh, John Toast. Yes, I think you're an expert on the subject. So, oh yeah, uh, John Toast. How do I? Fa- one. How do I- <laughs> <laughs> what? Yay! Oh, oh, the power of WikiHow. We might get to five grand. Holy well, shit! Get your uh, body beat just donated two fifty, which is oh, why we had three. Wow! Yeah, good job. Wow! Man. Get your body <laughs> beat. Get your body beat. Good job. Uh, Get your body beat. Uh, send me some. I'll give you stickers or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Um... Uh, Ch- Chibi Silver Wings donated with the note, uh, $25 with the note. The pretend wolf war is 24 terrible hours, and it sure has brought us closer together. Unless <laughs> 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 I'm liking the really tall wolf. That... Oh, good job. dog. <laughs> okay. Uh, for, so, Frank West. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Never mind. Never mind. I was like, is there anything I'm, more? In the I've part? learned everything I can. Are you? Are you? You ask for me? Uh, yeah. So, uh, so, so, John Toast, I think you're next uh-huh. on the subject. How do you fake a pregnancy? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Mimicking the symptoms of pregnancy can be tricky. A woman's body goes through a variety of changes during pregnancy, all of which can be difficult to imitate. However, with some careful planning, you can believably fake a pregnancy. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, so, what's uh, what's part one? Step one is consider buying a fake test. Mm. <laughs> just get Sharpie marker and just mark on it. <laughs> just write I'm preggers on it. <laughs> no, the easiest means of faking a pregnancy might be simply buying a fake test. You can buy fake pregnancy tests online or at a local joke shop. <laughs> oh, that's a good joke. That's a Hilarious. good joke. Uh, yeah, comedy gold. Destroying the lives of everyone you have sex with. 18 years later. Hey, guess what, honey? <laughs> April Fool's. <laughs> I got you. I got. Oh, I wish you could see the look on your face right now. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so. Uh, it's very yeah, hard to choose an image from this. It is, yeah, it is. But I think I think one two is pretty good. But uh, it's up to you. Oh, what this one? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay, so uh, section two, uh, number one. Uh, uh, yeah, what's 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 that? So section uh, part two is faking the first trimester. Okay. And step one is fake nausea and vomiting. Nausea okay. and vomiting are common early are common are common early in pregnancy. <laughs> okay, that's all right. All right. <laughs> Specifically, these symptoms tend to occur between the 6th and 12th week of pregnancy. As over half of all pregnant women experience morning sickness, consider faking these symptoms. Consider. Women with, who experience morning sickness cope in a variety of ways. They may drink ginger or lemon tea, eat small meals throughout the day, drink club soda, and drink small amounts of water frequently to avoid dehydration. Engaging in these behaviors can help convince others you are experiencing nausea associated, associated with early pregnancy. Great, great. Uh, okay, so uh, faking the first trimester, uh, tip number three in there? Um, 
Well, tip number three is the most important step, I think, and that is to enhance the size of your breasts. What? <laughs> hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. For many women... We're getting the bike pump thinking, has experience. Are you thinking of late pregnancy? <laughs> I For must, me. I must, I must fake my pregnancy. <laughs> For many women, breast size will increase during pregnancy. It may be one of the earliest noticeable signs. <laughs> Work on taking measures to t make your breasts look larger. There are many products you can buy, such as water bras or push-up bras, to make your breasts look larger. However, you don't want to go too big too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> you could try slowly stuffing your bra with socks or tissue paper until you gradually reach the breast size provided by an enhanced bra. <laughs> You can also make simple alterations on your existing bra rather than buying new products. Wearing two bras can increase breast size, for example. How <laughs> thick <laughs> are they? <laughs> Honey, why did you buy 20 bras? No reason. <laughs> uh, so then there's a lot of like complaining of aches and pains and uh, just wearing things under your clothes to give you a, uh, a fake belly. But uh, uh, the very last one, uh, section four, uh, number three, what's, what's that? All right, section four, number three. Oh, yeah. Um, so, once you've done all of the great steps before this that we didn't cover, mm -hmm. step three of part four is to find an exit strategy. <laughs> <laughs> now, I hate I to did... tell you all this, but you <laughs> Wait, you're not so pregnant. Bad. Jump out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You cannot keep up a fake pregnancy indefinitely, I'm sorry to say. No. Eventually, How you'll to make leave... a fake baby. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, you'll either have to admit you are faking or fake a miscarriage. Yeesh. That's great. Yeah. Uh, uh, where's the wiki yeah, article steps. for that one? <laughs> <laughs> both, of, both of these routes are uncomfortable and come with negative consequences. Faking a pregnancy is risky and may not be a good decision. <laughs> well, thanks for not, telling maybe, me in the end I here, mean... buddy. <laughs> It could damage your relationships with other people. If you were using your fake pregnancy to get out of work obligations, it could result in a loss of your job. Uh, I don't feel like working as much. All right, Dr. Uh, Preggers, Preggers. <laughs> the doctor, the, your, your boss is like, wait, all this paperwork is like, nope, sorry, I'm pregnant. Goodbye. Uh, okay, uh, then there's uh, advice, uh, related advice on how to fake a miscarriage, but uh, I have a question here oh, from, the, uh, okay. from the uh, community Q&A, and why would anyone want to fake a pregnancy? Well, <laughs> some people want attention, or they, or they want themselves to feel like it's happening to them when it's really not. Mm -hmm. They might need to know for a play or movie if they're acting, or perhaps it's just something for fun between a couple who might yeah! want to know what it feels like one day. <laughs> Mm. I did it for fun, yeah. for practice. Now, notice it doesn't say how to simulate a pregnancy with your partner who totally knows what's going on. Hey, are you into role play? <laughs> um... I'm just going to go pee twice as often for the next three months. It'll, it'll be fun. Whee! Okay. By the way, uh, one of the one of the steps we skipped was to just pour soda onto a uh, yeah, pregnancy yeah, yeah. test. Yeah. So you know, diet Pepsi. Now you got it. Uh, and the last uh, the last question here: um, uh, How do I fake a baby a baby movement? <laughs> Freak out in the middle of the night and tell your partner that a baby is kicking, but then make sure it says if the baby has stopped before they've asked to feel your stomach. Clever, clever, very clever. There is. There Just is it. there is one unanswered question in your wiki. What is that? Um, that question is why did you even write this article in the first place? <laughs> and I think I think the I think the writer found their exit strategy on that. Uh... <laughs> nope. Not answering it. <laughs> uh, what are the things that I'll need to fake a pregnancy? Oh, uh, things you'll need. Um, you'll need, number one, a pile of clothing or pillow or beach ball. <laughs> beach ball? Just I know you caught my baby. Just going to bed with a beach ball. <laughs> um, you'll need a long sleeve shirt and you'll need books. Or, or just with, a with the, book. Just or, yeah, yeah. Book. Either a book or books. Yeah, the book, the S is in parentheses, so maybe there's the one, like, just if you find how to fake a pregnancy at the library, just like, oh, perfect. Unspecified. Uh, poor tax. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I've heard that you uh, recently got a job uh, as a uh, media consultant. Is that right? 
Uh, yeah, that's the thing I know a lot about. Yeah, yeah, you know a lot about media consultations. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so this is a very brief seminar you have to give here. And uh, what's yeah. your seminar called? Uh, it's this one. It's this me... one. It's this one. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Um, how to present furry fandom to the media. Oh, yeah. Okay. Step one, uh, don't. <laughs> Far, finally the article from her I, I have to say I was hitting random over and over and over again and this was pretty much the only thing that wasn't like how to you know how to do your 401k how to tie yeah. your, uh, tape your hands for boxing so uh, furries have often been misrepresented in the media as perverts media such as this podcast and the furry mm -hmm. fandom as a fetish this has led to the public seeing furries in a negative light and backlash within the fandom about how it should address itself. If you are a furry, you might one day be confronted by the media at a convention or other <laughs> gathering. These steps okay. may help you handle the situation without reinforcing stereotypes and perhaps even painting the fandom in a positive way. You know, please do all this in your wolf costume. <laughs> <laughs> um, sir, we can't we can't hear you through the giant mascot head. <laughs> <laughs> It's we're not real truffle. <laughs> what? <laughs> Number one, know what you're talking about. If you have a very narrow view of the fandom, then you won't exactly be able to be the best spokesperson for it. <laughs> okay, all these pictures are of just a random man. <laughs> a stock response in the media could be something along the lines of furry is a subculture mixed fixed on animal character design and how it can ram into someone's identity. <laughs> oh, true. Wow. I mean, over and over and over. Tobias Fuke of the furry fandom. How many breaks do you need for a standing ovation? Man. Oh my god. Who is the, who is the anus tart who wrote this? <laughs> A longer, more involved rundown could read something like, Furry fandom is all about animals and walk it, that walk and talk as we do. It's based on mankind's millennia-old fascination with the animal kingdom. It has its roots in the gods of Egypt uh, and... Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, it's, this is all bullshit and blah, blah, blah. This is what goes on forever. Um, everyone, the world, everyone the world over talks to his cat, and it's part of our basic psychological makeup to imagine that the cat actually gives a damn as to what we're saying. Not, okay, if the cat actually gave a damn, and in fact, he could argue the point with us, that is furry fandom. Yeah, okay, if yeah, the cat yeah. could argue with us and had anime hair <laughs> and big pants and, like, seven dicks growing out of its ears, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Don't... So, Aesop fables and anthropomorphism. That's why I want to fuck a mascot. You're welcome. <laughs> However, it says, Don't feel the need to memorize a paragraph, though. When you're with the media, be succinct in your response. <laughs> Oh my gosh. We're going for it. We're going for it. That was a yeah, that was a, a donation from Kumquat for sixty nine dollars and sixty nine cents. Again, I was like, wait, did it yeah. bug out? No, he just did it again. <laughs> Um, there are negative aspects, uh, uh, one, one, four, one, four there. Uh, there are negative aspects about the furry fandom, mm -hmm. uh, so I should just downplay those, right? No, do not. Do not do that. Do not okay. downplay the negative aspects. Talk about the issue you have with it. If you are asked about a taboo subject, tell the media how you honestly feel about it. Is it unfair that you're being associated with yiffing? Or uh, maybe the fandom unfair. really can be a place for people to explore a kink. And because people are and people are being too sensitive over strange media coverage, <laughs> the choice is yours. Uh, Captain hey. Planet, I'm gonna opt out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, hey guys, real quick, yeah, uh, we're, we're we're like less than 15 minutes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. being done with this thing. Yeah, uh, we are at four thousand eight hundred sixty dollars. We got about yes. three hundred people in the stream right now. So if people everybody the that was watching gave fifty cents. That yes. would put us over the five thousand yes. dollar mark. You can so. give fifty cents. Let's get to five thousand, please. Let's get to five thousand. For, we for we just the cost so much. For just the cost post of a post shitty post Frank West identify. video game, you can <laughs> <laughs> do good in the world today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and a little uh, side so note: if you choose PayPal for the fifty cents, please uh, consider paying the fees. Anyways, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah actually, yeah, PayPal prefers. Me. Spend like a dollar, but anyway, <laughs> someone should post the link in the chat just real quick. I can't, I'm not a mod, but uh, there. Um, uh, okay, so wait, wait, wait. oh, yeah, 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 okay, so um, so you had some tips, and and mm -hmm. uh, uh, being a furry is a hobby to some and a lifestyle to others, and that's great. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, but do you have any warnings? 
Uh, let's see. We'll get some tips. Okay, yeah. Avoid using statistics because there are no proven statistics in the furry fandom. <laughs> <laughs> they are ghosts. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Are furries <laughs> immune to numbers? <laughs> when you are talking to the media, you represent the entire fandom. Use good judgment. Don't put on a mask. What? Be honest about Wait how you feel. Don't put on a mask. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put a mask on top of your mascot head. That would look really <laughs> dumb if you put on a mask. <laughs> but the human face is the real mask lemon oh of course of course <laughs> uh morning three sex and religion religion are valid topics in a healthy society if you find yourself in a conversation about it with the media why <laughs> i guess it'd be the catholic nun that we saw earlier <laughs> Talk about the issue maturely. Divulging your personal history is usually in poor judgment in front of a camera. Uh, and uh, keep, yep. yeah, keep going. Yeah, please. Okay. Uh, CSI and Ben. We're so close. We're so close. We're there. We're there. Oh, we're there. We're there. <laughs> we're there. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh my god. Thank you, oh, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Fuck! We did it! We did it! We did oh, the last uh, last donation is uh, from Thursday, and it says, "Yay, Portex!" So, <laughs> hey. well, you did it. Portex I, did. Carried I us did all it. the way over the threshold. Uh, well, so uh, so boots. I guess uh, I guess we should close on one more, shouldn't we? I think so. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, okay. So I've got. Um, I've got a couple uh, options for you. I need. I need. I need a whole screen of this. <laughs> yeah. 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 So uh, I got some options for you. One's. One's. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Whoa! What the fuck? That's from How to Draw uh, Anime Hair. That's from How to Draw Anime? <laughs> oh, Jesus! Yeah. Uh, that's a call, that that's that? a call back to F Plus Live 2? 3. Is it 2 or 3? It was 2. It was 2, yeah, that book. that I, I still have that yeah. book, by the way. Great. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. That's on YouTube. Oh. Okay, so... um <laughs> Trev. So, uh... <laughs> What is that?! <laughs> Dig, uh, watch and learn. Watch and learn. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, shit. Go to sleep. Yeah, also, we're technically behind one. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we got two right in a row. Okay, um... Okay, so, uh, Boots, couple, couple choices here. Okay. Couple, couple choices. You're going to tell me which one you like best. Uh, one is called How to Keep Your Feet Warm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> one is called How to Create a Secret Society. <laughs> yeah. Warm feet. One is called How to Be Respected as a Female Tuba Player. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Number three, okay. number three, number three. No question. Okay. 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 Uh, so stop. long have you been disrespected as a female oh, tuba stop there. So, uh, Fuck that, that's a euphonium. Unless she's a giant. <laughs> oh, I like Boots' Vortex moment here. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to I mean, it's... it's Okay. He, is, he is correct. That is too small. Okay, so I mean, I knew that could also then, be your move. And then step right. one, it shows, you, it shows a sousaphone. So fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> they mentioned... look at Wait a minute. This, this wiki how is bullshit. Look how it small looks, her lips it are. Does, it doesn't look like a sousaphone so much as like a mutant French horn that's like oh, yeah. trying to kill her. Yeah. Kill me, kill me, dude, dude. I like how she's just kind of going <laughs> into the... <laughs> yeah, it is a really fucked up French horn. It is a okay, point. sorry. Okay, how do I, how do we how, how are we suspect or respected as a female okay. tuba okay. player? <laughs> how to be respected as a female tuba player? Yay. Of no all the, the instruments but... in the band, the tuba is perhaps the most widely recognized and stereotyped one of all. Stereotyped? <laughs> and it's hard to re it's hard to redraw accurately, apparently. Uh, typically when someone thinks of a tuba, they picture a somewhat overweight, dorky guy in a band uniform carrying one. However, as any real band nerd should know, not all tuba players are overweight or dorky. Or sure. male. The middle one is incorrect, Ooh, they are all. Right. Right. Yeah, not all tuba players. Disagree. 
<laughs> Being a female tuba player could be a tough but rewarding experience. Some narrow-minded people <laughs> may believe that the Gain tuba... the tuba's trust and it will be your friend for life. <laughs> they may believe that the tuba is too manly for a girl. Where, what society are you living in? <laughs> and you'll have to fit in with a predominantly male section that may or may not respect you at first. However, it could be quite worth it to be a little different. <laughs> is, is where I really hope... Yeah! Yeah! Oh my god. Holy shit. So uh no! somehow this is not the only step. Step one, be good at your instrument. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't understand. Don't get snobby about it, but make sure it's clear that you belong in the tuba section just as much as the guys, and you're actually better than some of them. Like, shouldn't wanting to play the tuba well. <laughs> Oh, be the goal you have before. I want to be quirky. I'm going to become a tuba player. She's a good tuba player, but I do not respect her. Um, no woman will ever be a tuba player in my band. <laughs> and then all the other bandmates showed up and they said, we stand by female tuba player. And then they cheered and, then, and all of them went to the bathroom. And, okay. And then they uh, all get out. I said, get out. me for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, section one, uh, number uh, four. Uh, what is that one called? Oh, know the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I'm thinking... <laughs> this is what broke me. <laughs> 24 hours, and this is what they can do. Holy shit. <laughs> know the tuba attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down with the tuba, dude. <laughs> <Add a tuba. laughs> but they don't say it's not the tuba player attitude. No, it's the yeah, the tuba attitude. <laughs> tuba, attitude. <laughs> tuba players are loud and outgoing, often with large egos. A tuba player is what? usually. Uh, oh, that does say that a tuba player yep. is usually has a great sense of humor. Yep, yep. They are often in trouble for taking talking during band class. <laughs> it, this was your tuba horoscope. <laughs> <laughs> Typical tuba player. Uh, uh, number six, don't be afraid to admit to being a tuba player. And admit is in quotes for no good reason. That's a girl. She's she's coyly uh, smirking and winking behind her Hello. behind her <laughs> euphonium. Shitty anime Scarlett Johansson. That's not even a euphonium, really. Oh, yeah. It's like a Dr. Seuss, like <laughs> Crumbopulous Crumbopular. <laughs> I put the mouse piece where I don't want my face. Um, I don't play the tuba with your eye. Five steps <laughs> for girls. It's not a mark of shame. It's a mark of pride. Be that person oh. that throws off the other bands when they ask if you're a clarinet player. Tell them that you actually play tuba and will probably gain some instant respect. Yay, tubas! Tuba, tuba, tuba! Tuba! Taylor Hansen tuba, got to start tuba. playing tuba. Tuba. If someone can find a Mark Hansen Hansen also play tuba. I don't remember the other one's name. <laughs> Someone find a marching band version I of Uba for me. It's Mark already in Isaac? the comments, Portex. Okay, <laughs> Jesus. I'm looking at like seven. Victor, at Victor has already done that for you. <laughs> okay. Yay, Victor! <laughs> Yay, Victor! <laughs> Someone put this in the chat, please. Right. The tube attitude. There we go. And there's the tube attitude right there. All right. <laughs> Tubitude. Add a tuba. Uh, in the uh, related uh, reader's question, this is this is related reader's questions. It says, on how to calculate capital gains, a reader asks, can I mitigate capital gains tax by reinvesting my gains? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think they then reinvesting in the tuba. <laughs> Alex, one of the tips, though, is to see if you can convince others to join you. If you have friends who play trombone or baritone, they might be able to switch to tuba. You should join my... <laughs> like a, a tuba vampire? Join my tuba <laughs> secret society. <laughs> tuba Freemasons. Um, 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 do you have any warnings? Do you have any warnings at all? Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> okay. 
If you find you have a crush on one of the guys in your section, proceed with caution. It can make rehearsals awkward. And also, uh, don't obsess too much over this. If your desire to prove yourself is going to get in the way of enjoying your band experience, you might be better off switching to another low brass instrument. Ooh, yeah. Get like, a low brass lady. <laughs> Trombone players don't have the resolve necessary. <laughs> it's like she just runs up to a, other band members, just like, I will prove that a woman could be a tuba player. And everybody else is just like, we just didn't want to do sports. Like, <laughs> we needed an elective. That, that, that is another low I brass do. instrument. Like, there's more than two options. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm so respectful of, for you of, of being a female. A player booth. <laughs> oh, me too. You me did too. it. Boots did it. Yay! Oh my God. Yay. We're out female okay, two like a three minutes to last list. <laughs> one of one of the uh, one of the a couple of the uh, related wiki how articles that I got uh, how to play a tuba. Obviously, uh, one is called how to play the didgeridoo. <laughs> Ooh, that's it. The, I couldn't handle it in the tuba so section. Got, I'm switching to the didgeridoo. How to be how to be how to be chill. I got look like a vampire. Me too. <laughs> How to be a gamer? Okay. All right. <laughs> How to dress like an artist. Oh my god. Uh, By the way, the alternate title for the didgeridoo one is How to be that guy at college. <laughs> <laughs> Kumquat is saying, is warning us about something. But I don't... Uh, I don't Mark see. Ranger? Mark Ranger, guys? You know, you know what about him? That something said, happened? That he said two bop? I don't know. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Two bob. Yes. Thanks, Kumquat. Thanks, Kumquat. Oh. oh, we don't. Oh, we donated. Oh yes. <laughs> um, so uh, F plus. What have we learned uh, from this uh, <laughs> thing? Uh, Everyone uh, here is now this day. marathon. I just like to give one one big final shout out to our our biggest sponsor is the Hanson Brothers. Uh, brother, we yeah. believe in your comeback. Yeah. I know you believe in us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you so much for all your cooperation, Taylor, Zach, and the other one. Yeah, <laughs> Isaac, I think. And Isaac, Bob too. I believe in you. Hey, they don't need a comeback. They never left. <laughs> See, something that I learned is that uh, doing a big charity stream marathon that goes on for a really long time is actually super duper easy. It's really easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Super. people pre people pretend like it's really hard, but like, like apparently it's just like, like super know, duper easy. So like, there's like logistically, it's really easy, and then yeah, it's like, really easy. Actually it's easy, of it's easy to get, yeah, it's easy to get people to fill shifts. It's easy to handle yeah. like any technical issues when they show up, which they never do. I just if, if um, you just if you just like drink coffee, then everything goes fine, and you don't yeah, yeah. crash. Everything's just fine. Everything's fine. Now imagine doing this for a week straight. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I what I learned is that the donators, the people in the chat, and of course mm -hmm. are ridiculous, but I already knew this. Everybody has been really great for this whole mm -hmm. thing. And like the chat, yeah, like yeah, I yeah. I was made a mod in the chat and I was like cracking my knuckles like, "All right, time to ban some motherfuckers." It's going to And I didn't have to cuz everybody yeah, was awesome. Like holy shit, like we went through an entire Twitch marathon with an active chat, and when I was building this interface, I was like, "Well, I need to make a dismiss chat button because that's <laughs> yeah, necessary. well, of right. course, of course." Uh, but like, but like, I think we broke history with being like the first Twitch chat that's not terrifying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, surprise! It's it honestly surprised me. Like, no joke. Everyone celebrate with the kappas. The kappas yeah. HD kappa, if you're prime, uh, prime army. I'm gonna say that this whole thing was, uh, in one way, like three times worse than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> In another way, it was 20 times better. <laughs> like, this... It was fucking amazing. Like, fucking... <laughs> fucking amazing. Uh, I just want to say, actually, real quick... This, this, the, the, Twitch emoticons, thanks guys. Yeah, the chat yeah, cap is there a crazy. There we go, now it looks like Twitch Yeah, there we go. Oh, now it looks like yeah, there, we go. there it is. Like. Yep. So... So we're going to record an episode in a couple hours, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, I will be on some Jackbox. Dude, let's. 20 minute nap and I'll be right with you. Go ahead. Go ahead, Frank. I did record. I should. Separately, I the entire stream of Red Lake, where I was talking for at least most of it, is separate. Yeah, and it's I'm going to be uploading. Yes. I don't know what you mean, Boots. The, the ending's totally normal, and I legitimately beat Red Lake, and that's the, what the final boss looks like. I, it's, 
and I finished. <laughs> World record. World. If if that wasn't the final boss, then I wouldn't have finished, and I would have had to have kept playing. That's a good point. I'm, just, I'm just saying the game did have a twist ending. It, like it ended it in a very different, different way we expected it to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'll be uploading that, and maybe I'll do the highlights. I have no fucking clue. I don't All know right. if I want to go through that again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, thanks again, uh, to, man, I don't know if I can successfully name everybody. No, I can, I can, I can. I want to thank Isfahan, Jack Chick, Jimmy Franks, John Toast, Kumquat Sop. Uh, oh, I scrolled down too far. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> John Toast, Kumquat Sop, Nutshell Gulag, Portex, uh, Stog, Victor Laszlo, Cheapskates, uh, Ironicus, uh, J.W. Friedman, Lou Fernandez, Montreth, Zarla, uh, Boots Rain Gear, me, Achilles Heelys, uh, Adam Bozarth, Bob Girl, Bunny Bread, Frank West. Okay, okay, there we go. And then, and then I also want to give getting blurrier uh, and blurrier. Huge. <laughs> it's all like shutting down. Uh, uh, genuinely, like, and and also like the the illustrations were not the first part of the thought. We were like, we're going to do this thing. Oh, it'll be video. Like, maybe it would be fun to have like illustrations. It was such a shining moment. Like, it was so fun to look over at those things. Yeah. Uh, illustrations, just so terrific. So, Positronic, uh, Sanguinary Novel, Portex again, uh, Travis and Amelia Blank, uh, really just throwing down, doing incredible shit. Uh, and everybody, everybody listening and not listening because you're asleep. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yay. 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 That's all I got. We, I can't. I can't talk anymore. We've done it. I can't talk anymore. And now I've prepared a 45 minute speech thanking every single one. Fuck it. Again. In Fuck it. I'm going to bed. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye, Boots. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I'm going to drop out of Discord. Thanks for watching. <laughs>